Well, there's no reason not to be musky fishing other than this was really fun the last time we did it. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. We're gonna do another little river float today. Now, while there's a chance that we could catch a muskie, it's very minuscule. Mostly gonna be smallmouth, maybe the occasional pike. I'm out here with my buddy, Trevor Allen. He's in the front of a little 12 foot of Luma craft here. And uh, he's got a YouTube channel, it's called TA Films. I'll put that in the description down below so you can check that out, he's got some cool stuff. But yeah, we are out here uh, we're going to be throwing probably top waters, maybe toss some tubes into the trees. Try to learn a little bit from the last time we did this river float, because the last time we did this, Nate and I got some really nice smallmouth. And guys, this is just a fun thing to do to get away from the grind of musky fishing. I know you guys like musky videos, but just for me to get out here and do something a little bit different is really a lot of fun. So with that, I'm going to shut up. We're going to get to fish and see if we can get one of these big smallies that live in this little river. All right, I'm starting off with a tiny little buzz bait. I don't even know. It's just one of those buzz baits that's kind of been rolling around with my fishing stuff for the past 10 to 30 years. Who knows? Uh, so throwing that. And uh, just because there's pike in here, I've got a steel leader. And I put a little rubber band over the eye so this the leader doesn't slide out of that spot. And then I've got a St. Croix 7-foot medium heavy old school Premier with a Curado. I don't even know. What's, oh, this is a 100D little Curado. So that's the rig. That's what we're doing. Let's get one. Um, I, I lost one bass next to the boat. There. Oh, okay. But, uh, there fish. jumping out there like crazy. Oh, there's a fish. Nice small. That's, that's a nice small. <laughs> that didn't take too long at all. Wow, that's not a bad way to start the day. I pretty much just filmed it. Oh, Trevor's got a... <laughs> now we're on the other side. All right, that's a cool fish, man. Here, let's, we'll put her, I got a little tape across the back here. Put her on the 10 inch mark. That is, she just, uh, she's just shy of 28. So that is like a 17 and three quarter incher. I will take that, that is a really cool way to start out this little float. See if we can put this guy back in without tipping this little boat over. Boom. All right, sweet. Let's get another one. <laughs> so they had like a whole water rescue show up. Oh, oh he was, he was in a boat? Trucks and yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't see that, but I heard that. <laughs> what do we got here? Catfish. That's a catfish on a top water? What is that? That was a good catfish. That was too. a nice cat on a buzz bait. That's dumb. Wow. I couldn't like it went crazy when it came out. <laughs> it was fighting so hard I was like, this is a giant small. <laughs> yeah, I saw no. it. It was a big fish. Wow, just just a catfish. Okay, well, um that's not necessarily a target species, but uh, what the heck, I'll take it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Whoa, that was like a pike or something, I think. Holy cow. <laughs> wow, I'm pretty sure that was our third species on the uh, little uh, buzz bait here. That looked like a, a toothy critter. Oh, there you go. A little, a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think my blade was even moving on that prop yet. <laughs> oh, oh, there, he oh goes. there he goes. Well, 
We saw a fish. That's all right. That's cool. <laughs> There's another one. Are you kidding me? Right in the exact same <laughs> spot. That's a little bigger, isn't it? Yeah, this is a different one. Right in the exact same spot. Oh, dude. Spot. That's a good one. Yeah. A little bit bigger than that last fish. That's the one I would rather catch. So weird, too, sitting right up in that current. And I'm back there. On the same little buzz bait you were using earlier. Oh, the magic buzz bait. We've gone a little ways without catching anything. Um, so yeah, two two fish and two casts. But I I actually threw an anchor down because this just seemed like a fishy spot. You got all this wood and a lot of heavy current. So um, we're just gonna make a couple more casts. We got two fish hits and two casts. So that was kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> it pulled it out of the water just as that fish was going to hit it. Float that, uh, float that popper back in there. I don't know if you'll get him to. All right, so just a little mid trip update here. We're not exactly killing them. Um, Started out strong with a nice smallie and a couple, uh, a lost fish and a big hit. And, um, and since then, boy, it's been pretty scattered. But we're also kind of exploring a, a new stretch of this river. So we don't really know what we're getting ourselves into. Um, the stretch that Nathan and I fished a couple of weeks ago when we got, we did quite a bit better. Um, that had a lot more rocks, riffles, uh, trees. Uh, this just is a lot of flats with weeds. So it's uh different areas but you don't know unless you try so this is sort of a little exploration type of day uh just a fun day to kind of kill a sunday morning here so that's what we're doing all right we're gonna go finesse trevor's gonna try throwing a little what's that like an eighth ounce jig head 16th ounce jig head with a little paddle tail is it a kalins that is bass pro the bass cheap, pro cheap knockoff of the Ky Tech. cheapy knockoff bass pro swim bait See if this gets us a fish. Oh, ooh, what do we got there? Little baby. Little guy? Well, that's all right. It's, like I said, it's better, than, better than what we've been doing. <laughs> it's just a little dude. It's all right. I didn't even feel him hit. I just no. felt him swimming away. Just kind of there. <laughs> that's another fish. That's a bigger fish. Ooh, that's a bigger fish. The next cast. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, we've been screwing up this whole time. This is what we should have been doing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Might need to get another one of these little swim baits on. Tell you what, though, they fight good on the ultralight. Oh yeah. Another long, skinny one. Typical river smallies. Nice. Do you want a release shot or anything? Yeah, go ahead. Just there you go. Man's on fire. We are doing it now. Well, that's like stepping up in the world. Three smallmouth in the last 15 minutes. That and was we... two casts in a row. Yeah. Wow. I've been 
dumb nice and two cast in a yeah row. yeah I just throwing a stupid buzz bait but oh well it's more fun to watch that but it's a lot of fun to catch fish too so he's definitely got me on the catching fish part of things right now <laughs> So you got there? Yeah. Something a little better? Yeah. What in the world are you out there? It's a smally. Yeah? Apparently did not have the drag set correctly. <laughs> oh, he's going to the grass. But this is just an ultralight. So yeah. We'll see. Still seems all right though. Is that a... Oh, that is a small mouth. Smally. Not even that big. Yeah, maybe he's coming oh. up towards you. Still a good fish for a little creek like this, though. Oh, yeah. Here, buddy. <laughs> nice, dude. Here, I'll give it to you. Well, probably, what, 16 and a half, maybe 17. I would guess, yeah. He's long and skinny. Not that bad, but he's quite yeah. long. I Typical. finally just switched up to that little swim bait after a long time with no fish. Yeah. Just a little three inch paddle tail and a little jig head. And it worked. That was like three fish in like five minutes yeah. after nothing. Yeah, we've been dealing with no fish for a while, but we've also been being kind of stubborn and just throwing top waters and that sort of thing so uh yeah Trevor put on a little jig and a paddle tail and uh unfortunately we're getting sort of towards the end here but maybe we can pick up another good fish or two Last time you did this, you caught a big yeah. Get get rid of that thing and get the go catch the big one that's hanging yeah, out with like it. Two in a row every time. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that little paddle paddle tail swim jig. You really like that one. He won't let it go. Honestly. Holy cow! Him. Like he wolfed it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was a that was a fish that came out and hit it. It's a nice one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's dumb. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. We are done. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But we were checking out a new stretch of river and Trevor found out the uh, secret to catching them later on with that little paddle tail jig. So uh, just trying to learn stuff, people. You still know, got some stuff figured out. Yeah, yeah, no, we still got some nice smallies. Um, Even if you figure out it's not a spot worth fishing again, you still learn something. Yeah, I definitely want to fish that other spot that uh, Nate and I did the other time now that we're kind of getting this thing, uh, this uh, little river floats figured out. It's fun. I, I love musky fishing. I will do that as my number one thing, but every now and again, it's nice to take a little break and do something a little bit different. So we've got the boat, we've got it in back in Trevor's truck. I'm gonna hop in my truck. We're gonna head home, take care of all this junk and uh, call, it, uh, call it a wrap. So check out Trevor's YouTube channel, TA Films. And other than that, folks, thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. We'll see you on the next video.